YouTubers, and uh, just before I get started, um, I am having my lunch break, and this is the only time I'm going to have to eat and to make this video. So I do apologize if you hear a lot of munching. I could just do it right now. Mm. But yeah, okay. This is a video response to. Dang, I forgot again. I am so so sorry. I'm just in such a rush. Um, the, his question is, uh, okay, he has this, he just ripped a DVD to his, um, to his hard drive, and he's left with a video TS folder, and what he wants to do is how to play it into a media center or burn to a DVD later, I think that's his question, yeah, yeah, that is his question, okay, if not, please correct me, I'm sorry, and, uh, do my best to redo this video as soon as I get more time, if I speak a little quick, I am, I apologize, I just, need to get this out of the way okay you're gonna need a piece of software called uh, DVD shrink I'll put the link in the description as soon as I can <laughs> and all you gotta do is open it and it looks, it looks like this really simple what you gotta do now if you're familiar with DVD shrink is that you normally click on open disk and uh, what you gotta do now instead of open disk go to open files and what you gotta do here is uh, look for where you have your folder. Mine's full disk, AI, and then just highlight video TS folder and then hit OK. And then you'll see that it's going to analyze it. Another thing I remembered that uh, his folder was very large. As you can see, mine is also very large before I use DVD shrink. Now, as soon as it's done analyzing, we're gonna get to um, shrinking it. Um, we're gonna shrink it to an ISO image, mm, to a virtual CD, so we can later play on a. Excuse me, to a virtual CD drive like Magic Disk. So what you do here is you hit backup. Oh, let me back up. You go through this and you select what you want to leave or leave out you know like I don't listen to fr I don't I'm not French I don't know French take that out stuff like that and then you can compress it a little bit custom ratio and then you can see this is the file size after it's been shrink uh, shrunk you can make it a little smaller and that beats the hell out of 7.8 gigs after that just click backup select your destination yours might look like this as a hard disk folder Click on the arrow, select ISO image file, click where, select where you want it to go, my desktop, AI save, and OK. Now this is going to take about 20 minutes. So I'm going to stop the video here, finish my lunch, and then I'll get back to you. I mean, I'll get back to it as soon as it's done. Thank you. All right. As you can see, the video's not done yet, but just letting you know I'm halfway through with my lunch. So you won't hear me smacking anymore by the time I resume it. All right, sorry. All right, YouTubers. I'm sorry I'm not done eating it. Just a banana. I'm almost done. As you can see, it's done. We don't need this anymore. If you take a look, we got a new ISO image from the video TS folder. After you get that, you just follow the steps from my last video. You open up Magic Disk, which I hope I think I'll have this. Oh, never mind. I'll put this in the description. Promise. Open that up. You get this little thing in the bottom. Just right-click it. Go up here to Virtual CD-ROM. Then No Media. Then Mount. Then so just find that ISO image. Mine's right there. 3.48 gigs. See, a lot smaller. Open it, and then you have a selection of what to play. Play it in Media Player or what's it called media center so that's pretty much it I hope this video was uh... oh yeah and you have to unmount it after you're done using I hope this video was help help yeah, helpful to you guys I am terribly sorry for eating while making this video it's really rude and I 